Hi, I'm Daniel Grab, Residential Product Manager at S&P USA. Today, I'm going to show you how to wire a Premium Choice Series fan to a PC LMHKP lighted motion humidity control module. Before doing any electrical work, be sure to turn off the breaker. Also, all work needs to be in compliance with local and national electrical codes. First, gather your supplies including your Premium Choice AC model fan with PCLMHKP plug and play sensor pre-installed, wire nuts, additional wire, a Phillips head screwdriver, wire strippers, four single pole, single throw toggle switches. Next, locate the motor wiring harness composed of black and white wires. It will be labeled as motor. Then, locate the harness composed of brown, black, and white wires that's connected to the plug and play module. The next wiring harness to locate is composed of blue and white wires and is the main light. Finally, locate the red and white wires that controls the night light. Now let's wire up the fan. Using the wire strippers, strip a half inch off the incoming building supply wires. Next, connect the brown wire from the control module to the load side of the switch. Then connect the black wires from both the motor and the control module to the load side of the high speed override or fan switch. This connection point is circled on the corresponding wiring diagram for clarity. Then, connect the blue wire from the main light wire harness to the load side of the switch. Finally, connect the red wire from the night light wire harness to the load side of the switch. After that, Attach the incoming building supply wire to the line side of each switch while wiring them in parallel. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to ensure the switch connections are tight. You will be left with the white neutral and green ground wires. Take the white neutral wires and wire nut them all together.
Lastly, wire together the ground wires. The motor's wiring harness's associated switch that I'm pointing to is sometimes referred to as the high-speed override switch, which overrides the control module operation to manually run the fan motor on high speed. It also runs the fan on high speed when the control module is switched to off, as you see here. This switch is wired to the black wire of the fan motor and control module. The switch associated with the control module operates a plug and play module of your choice. It is wired to the brown wire of the control. This example we are using the motion and humidity control. When this switch is on and the high speed override switch is off, as you see on your screen, then the PCMHK motion and humidity control module will continually sense for motion and humidity while simultaneously running the fan on an adjustable continuous low speed in the absence of both motion and humidity. If the continuous low speed feature is not wanted, then it can be deactivated at the control. When motion and or humidity is sensed, the fan will automatically ramp up to the high speed setting and continually run on high speed until motion and humidity is no longer sensed and the user set time delay elapses. The humidity sensor activates the high speed in the presence of either a rapid rise in humidity or a relative humidity reading above the user set point, which can be adjusted between 50 to 100% relative humidity. The next switch that I'm pointing to is the main light. The light operates independently from the fan and control module. The final switch you see here is the night light. This switch operates independently. The night light would be a good feature for a timer if desired to only come on at night. This example shows a night light on the standard switch. And there you have it. Well, we just wired up your Premium Choice Series fan with the lighted motion humidity sensing kit to basic switches. I'm Daniel Grab with SP. Good luck with your project. We'll see you next time.